penser que ça s'en irait. Je t'aime tellement. Il faut que je t'aime comme je suis. Je comprends pas. Je veux être une femme. Tu peux être heureux comme ça Ça va ranger les choses Tu crois que je vais me martyriser J'ai pensé que je suis une mauvaise mère Je m'en fous Moi, j'ai besoin de lui. J'ai besoin de me réveiller avec lui. Et ton père Ton père voudra jamais te voir en femme. J'ai besoin de toi, Fred. Sans toi, j'y arriverai pas. On va faire ça ensemble. Je vous ai pas vu rentrer ce matin, c'est... Euh... C'est une révolte. Non, c'est... C'est une révolution. Notre génération est capable de prendre ça. On est rendu là. C'est limite. OK. And there's a, there's a line... Actually, my favorite line in the movie is actually, it's, a, it's kind of earlier on. It's when Fred is helping pick out wigs, and she says, our generation can handle this, like, mm -hmm. we're ready. Um, so that was, like, in 1989, but is that, like, something you're saying from your generation? Like, even though that was set in 1989, this is something that we're now able to You know what, I'm not sure that her generation is ready to take this. I think my generation is ready to take this. I don't know if her is back then or... Mm. But, yeah, the thing is that about society, it's a generation can be ready to take something, but the society is made of various generations. So, not every generation is ready to take something. I think my generation is ready to stop talking about gay marriage and stop talking about ecological problems because it seems so obvious to us that people from the same sex should just be, you know, happy and, 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 and marry and, and, and about all the problems that we, um, that Earth carries right now, the, the ecological problem, we should just, there is no questions to be asked towards the, the, the concrete um, actions we should take. Uh, but some other generations are questioning that. Some other generations, it's not a matter of left or right, it's a matter of, really for me, it's a matter of generations and the way, various ways of thinking. Uh, and the movie is trying to offer a very um, a variety of, of, of viewpoints from various generations and social classes, like you, you've got the bourgeoisie and you've got the public function and you've got the young and the old and, 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 and the pariahs, uh, the mar marginality and, and, and homosexuals and I wanted to have a lot of different point of views on the issue of transsexuality and it's not for me, it's not a movie on about transsexuality. It's really a movie. It's really a love story and a movie about um, difference and the way we deal with difference and different people. Uh, and so um, it was important to have the, the 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 point of view of of as many people as possible even different people already, like the point of view of homosexuals on transsexuals. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've done three movies and they've all debuted at Cannes. Um, with this one, do you, do you feel like you've kind of cleared a hurdle of like being like, oh, the Wonder Kid, new kid on the block? Like now you, you've had three movies that have all shown at Cannes and now like you're, um, recognize as a filmmaker more than your age. I'm not sure you're right. I'm not sure you're right. I read a lot of these reviews where I try to imagine the, the journalist reading the review and if he's any older than 30 or 35, I can picture that person writing his review you know, doing this on my head, like congratulations for your homework. Um, that's a B minus. Uh, I feel that age is always going to be an issue and I always ask myself the question, what would have been people's response if that movie would have been made by a 40 year old guy? I cannot afford to I mean, psychologically, I cannot afford to um, hope for people to love my film or like my film or like me 
or and my films are so intimate and so from me that when people hate my work I can't help but have the impression that they hate me um, but I can't afford to have expectations and, and all I can do is really focus on my work and try to improve myself from a movie to another and feel like I've understood things and at every movie is uh, there's a lesson to be learned and and as long as I feel like I'm you know making improvements on my approach and even my personality <laughs> um, and bonding with new people from the crew and from the cast uh, that is my accomplishment and then the rest is gravy um, but of course you want to do a movie that it's going to be that's going to be loved and 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 that's going to be understood because then you'll be loved and understood but um i'm i'm i don't think number three number four number five number ten will ever will ever be the number where people will be will stop looking at me like I'm a kid because I'm 23. But just and, to finish on Titanic, oh yeah, because uh, you asked, I wanted to make that my Titanic. Um, I I wanted to have a very I wanted to have a double narrative. I wanted to have the narrative of the film, the the concrete action, so uh, to be with the characters, and I wanted to have another narrative which is from the future, the voiceover and the conversation with the journalists. And that's a sort of tribute to Titanic. Uh, and for me, to have a double narrative um, is always a sort of a perk, because it allows the audience to be a little bit of ahead of the characters and know what's coming before the characters know themselves. Uh, it gives depth to the, uh, the, the, the story telling the screenwriting uh, and and that was something I've learned in the first scene in Titanic um, and um, and what else yeah the, I guess the fact that I wanted it to be epic and very ambitious um, I'm yeah yeah j'ai choisi de descendre la pente dans la peau d'une femme toutes les femmes la descendent après l'avoir monté T'as-tu déjà acheté une perruque pour ton chum, toi? T'as-tu déjà eu peur quand tu sors de chez vous qu'il se fasse tabasser dans la rue puis qu'il t'en vienne pas en un morceau?